Spence land anything significant, but it seems like Van Horn is swelling up already on that on that left eye. What a redness. That'll add mark of a, a guy that really went to school on boxing. Warm up round here. Spence with an amateur career is really sound fundamentals. Tight punches, hands high. And nice. Solid left. So straight punches right through the guard. He's not moving his head. He's in a straight line, and he's eating a lot of punches. You can shake your head, <laughs> yeah. but you've got to find a way around that offense. He hasn't done it. of a trainer, so I take my hat off to him for yeah. getting this far. Arrow Spence looks fair. A solid jab. Now he can land some power oh, shots like that. Left hand. Okay, Van Heerden wants to wiggle out of it, but... Ryan Broner, the 30 and 2, uh, former multiple world champ. The legend has been asked about it before, and he won't deny it. He just says that's what they say. Poor form to brag about that. This is a good sparring. Uh, he knows where he is in his career. He knows what he has to do. I think he knows he's still developing this fight. That dinner you and I were talking about, Southpaws with great. 
I want to remind you, light heavyweight champ Liam McGeary battles Tito Ortiz. A truly hurt Earl Spence. Oh, no, left half right on that eye. And what makes that jab so effective is even when you're setting up, you have to start over when that jab hits you. Spence felt something there as they, after the break for the mouthpiece, he wanted every bit of it. But now he can only lay up against the ropes. This seems like it could be a matter of time. And you know what? That's enough. Alan Hudgens. Well, we're back. So far, it's been precision out of Spence and a little bit of histrionics out of Van Heerden. Enough's enough. Dove back in, and it, it didn't last much more than 20 or 30 seconds after that break. Van Heerden just holding on for dear life. Van Heerden, a fighter at 23-1-1 one one coming in here. Yeah. The one loss that he had was a disputed loss on, on a judge's scorecard that uh, uh, Van Heerden didn't feel he lost. This was a quality fighter who was taken apart by a... Trying to distract Spence's jab a little bit, so good stuff. Nice. If you're in the corner of Phil LoGreco, you... And here, the word from Spence's corner to double up on those blows, which he's been doing. That his one loss, as we've talked about earlier back in May of 2013, losing that two rounds. He's really, uh, you know, making us believers tonight with those body shots. On balance, good leverage, great shots to the midsection. Yeah, that beginning to take its toll. Oh, right. To deliver the proper punch to stay on balance. Get off the this is that Olympic. Uh, Whoa! Down the goes Lagreco. Some time remaining. Two minutes to go. Very impressive. You know, this is what we talked about yesterday. Everybody said, "Who is Spence fought? Uh, you know, who is he beat?" But as he moves up in opposition, you can let him go. Another right hand by Spence. If Spence ended things. Coming up on a minute to go in this third round. It's all Spence and it's all over. Catch him up. Good bonus shot. April against Samuel Marcus. Arrow was coming in to land his own jab. Yeah, with the hard left hand there and that hurt him. Leverage that Arrow Spence gets on those shots. He really turns his body. Spence continues to do work against the ropes and Jerry trying to... And Spence again. Nice right. And a good left. We're not going to see have a chance to see if he gets tired or not unless Chris starts firing back though. That left hand or that left uppercut. And just getting maximum leverage on every single shot. Bleak. And all three rounds, Eric Glasgow unofficially scoring it for Spence and going down. Spence goes on. Good left. Algeria against the ropes. Spence digging into the body. Basically, here at home, he has fought outside of the state of New York only one time. That last round, and he goes down again. Twisted his ankle there when he went down. He's not going to be able to take too much more of this. And Spence trying to finish it here. He has a wounded prey, and he knows it. Texas at a very young age.
Bundu has said, quote, this is my last chance. A half minute, round two here in Brooklyn. Another body shot from Spence. It's a nothing, 20 to 18 in favor of Errol Spence, although I will say in... Nice combination by Ovation. Flurry of activity. As he lands it. Welterweight champ. One of the Nationals all did well back in the States. And for the last 30 seconds, Earl Smith. Shots by Bundu. Well, you know, the investment that he's making to the body is very hard. He's going to take. Midway through. Round six. Down goes Bundu. Wow. No, not that. Bundu is, is very game right now, but he's hurt. Oh, and he goes out. Um, I think now I'm the number one ten I'm the number one contender to Kell Brook. So Kell Brook know what time it is, you know, we gotta get in the ring and fight.